Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the consensus of the Representatives Council on the Government Program. His Majesty affirmed that the consensus is for the benefit of the Kingdom and its people and expressed the Council's confidence in His Royal Highness the Government's capabilities to achieve the aspirations of the people of Bahrain. His Majesty the King expressed aspirations for the continuation of the cooperation and coordination between the executive and legislative authorities and affirmed confidence in His Royal Highness's role and efforts in ensuring a better future for the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Majesty praised the efforts of His Royal Highness in serving the Kingdom, enhanced its developments in all fields, developing the government work system and enhancing all sectors to making further achievements and national gains. His Majesty the King wished His Royal Highness lasting good health and happiness. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a reply cable of thanks from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa in reply to His Majesty the King's cable of congratulations on the occasion of the Representative Council's consensus on the government program. His Royal Highness expressed pride in His Majesty's capable or capable and its content of or, or cable and its content of motivation to achieve His Majesty's aspirations for the interests of the country and its people according to the goals of His Majesty's comprehensive development process. His Royal Highness reiterated his pledge to His Majesty to perform his national duties and responsibilities with determination and sincerity and to continue to work under His Majesty's leadership inspired by his visions to make citizens a priority. His Royal Highness noted that a new phase is being witnessed in national action led by His Majesty the King through the approval of the government program which showed constructive cooperation during the program's discussion which required the efforts and cooperation of Team Bahrain to continue the path of development with sincere contributions of the people of Bahrain. His Royal Highness added that the cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities will always be, as His Majesty desired, based on close cooperation and partnership for the interests of the country and its people. Under the directives of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Honorary President of the Royal Equestrian Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and under the patronage of the First Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the private stables race kicked off for the Cup of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa for endurance for the distance of 120 kilometers, which was postponed due to rain. The event was held in the Bahrain International Endurance Village. The Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation organized the veterinary examination for the race that witnessed a wide participation. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser stressed that the, vit the private st stables race for the cup of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa represents great importance for the private stables that are advancing steadily, which is reflected in the continued improvement this sport keeps witnessing and achieving numerous titles and international participations. His Highness Sheikh Nasser explained that the ideal preparations for the private stables affirmed that the race will witness strong and exciting competition in all its stages. His Highness Sheikh Nasser welcomed all the participating riders and stables, wishing them success. His Highness also expressed his appreciation for the support provided by companies and institutions for the current season's endurance races. The championship of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the season of endurance are supported by Tamkeen, Al Sharif Company, Huawei, Al Salam Bank, Aluminum Bahrain, Alba, and Ascon. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Zayani, visited the exhibition inaugurated by the Ministry at City Centre Mall, which coincides with Bahrain's Diplomatic Day. The exhibition presents the most prominent stations of Bahrain diplomacy since the establishment of the Department of Foreign Affairs in 1969, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in 1971, and the appointment of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Barak Al Khalifa as the first Minister of Foreign Affairs at that time, in addition to introducing the Ministry's visions, missions, and strategic objectives. The exhibition showcases the well established values of the Bahraini society by showing His Majesty the King's speech during the Pope's visit to Bahrain. It also introduced the most important consular services provided by the Ministry in Diplomatic Missions and the Mohammed bin Mbarak Al Khalifa Academy for Diplomatic Studies. 
The Foreign Affairs Minister attended a meeting with the Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Hamad bin Faisal al-Malki, as part of the Diplomatic Forum 2023. Al-Malki expressed thanks to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for the meeting, which is an opportunity to review the role of the Ministry of the Cabinet Affairs in the government work system to achieve the goals of the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty the King and supported by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He stated that the Representatives Council's unanimous approval of the government program 2023-2026 till 2026 proves the consensus of the executive and legislative authorities to achieve further gains for the country and its people. Dr. Zayan expressed thanks and appreciation to the Minister of Cabinet Affairs for his briefing on the government program and its priorities. The Minister of Foreign Affairs attended a meeting with the Minister of Tourism, Fatma Serafi, as part of the Diplomatic Forum 2023. Serafi noted that the forum seeks to increase cooperation and coordination between the Ministry of Tourism and Bahrain's diplomatic missions and reviewed the 2022-2026 tourism strategy, which aims to raise the contribution of the tourism sector to the GDP. She also spoke about the most prominent tourism events and activities that will be launched and announced soon, noting the launch of the e-platform Calendar.bh, which aims to promote tourism and entertainment events held in various governance. She also stressed the importance of coordinating with the Bahrain's diplomatic missions. As part of the Ministry of Education's program to train secondary school students on the English proficiency test TOEFL and ILETS, the Minister of Education Mohammed bin Mbarak Jum'a met with all secondary school English teachers as part of the preparations to implement the training at the beginning of the second semester of the current academic year. The Minister provided a detailed explanation on the implementation plan to train students on the test, where he stated that introductory meetings will be held with students in that regard and teachers will be trained on the content of the two tests. Training tests for students will be conducted electronically to measure students' level and skills in English. The first training test will be held between the 12th and 16th of February, and the second will be held in May. The minister added that the ministry's plan aims to prepare students to take these tests to facilitate meeting the admission requirements in many universities, and they also help in exempting them from introductory programs. Uh, I have attended today a meeting with all English language teachers maybe more than 350 teachers in high schools in Bahrain. Uh, the reason was that the Ministry of Education has uh, taken a decision to introduce a kind of a training to perform TOEFL and IELTS exam in the second semester of this year. And we believe that these exams are very important uh, for students uh, to be trained on because they will help them actually secure admission in local and actually um, foreign universities. And at the same time, this can help them be exempted uh, from the foundation and orientation programs. Uh, the educational system in the, king the Kingdom of Bahrain introduces the English, English language right from uh, cycle one up to uh, the end of high school but also introducing the, a training on IELTS and TOEFL in collaboration with the British Council and the American Embassy is also going to introduce and enrich uh, the skills of our students to perform these exams, uh, which will also prepare them to engage in, in the university life uh, after they graduate. We are so glad that the new addition for IELTS and TOEFL is happening now from the next semester. It will be uh, a great addition to the students' uh, understanding level and it will really help them uh, to pass and prepare themselves for the university degree. So we are so glad and we hope it will benefit their uh, students for the best. I think the addition of IELTS and TOEFL uh, into the new curriculum are a beneficial addition that will improve the students' overall language and will prepare them to enter universities as well as any other work fields in the future. And to add more to that, I think it will also prepare them to work abroad in any job or even study abroad. The Kingdom of Bahrain continues its preparations to host the meetings of the 146th Assembly of the Interparliamentary Union and the accompanying meetings held on the 11th till the 15th of March. The organizing committee of the largest international parliamentary gathering seeks to provide all means of success in coordination with various stakeholders. The committee affirmed its keenness to utilize its capabilities and energies to highlight the work of the international parliament in the best manner possible, reflecting excellence, openness, political and democratic development, and the high level of parliamentary diplomacy that the Kingdom of Bahrain has reached. In addition to its organizational capacity to host participants, presidents and members of parliaments, permanent observers and representatives of 178 parliaments and unions, as well as a number of United Nations organizations and other international organizations. 
Sebastian Loeb has earned a vast array of titles in his career, and he now has a new one as master of the empty quarter after a fifth straight Dakar rally stage win for Bahrain raid extreme in Saudi Arabia. Victory on today's 185-kilometer 12th stage, which crossed some of the most spectacular and challenging desert terrain on Earth, lifted Loeb and uh, Fabian Lorquin in second place overall in their BRX uh, Pro Drive Hunter with two days remaining. As on the first part of the Sheba Empty Quarter Marathon stage yesterday, which he won despite stopping to change a wheel, the ninth World Rally Champion was in control from start to finish as he got home with three minutes, 19 seconds to spare over Matthias Ekstrom, Zaudi, who has now won half of, or he has now won half of the 12 stages completed. Gerlain Shishrit and Alex Winox, who have made its seven stage victories overall, two pro for pro drive hunters so far were fourth fastest today. Despite a number of setbacks last week, Gerlain and uh, Vaidota Sizala have both uh, proved themselves to be top level Dakar challengers and are in the record books after combining with Loeb to produce a first ever one, two, three stage finish for pro drive hunters.